Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. So far, we've talked about the first six commandments, and now it's time for the seventh, Thou shalt not steal. We've discussed what it means to steal and how possessions are supposed to work according to the will of God. This week, fraud. Is fraud stealing? Before we can really understand this topic, we need to know what fraud is. Fraud is the intentional use of deceit to trick someone else into a bad position, often to trick them out of money or property, but not always. Fraud comes in many forms, fraudulent checks, counterfeit money, forged invoices, and even lying on your tax forms. Even at first glance, however, it's pretty clear that fraud usurps someone else's property. A fraudulent check is an attempt to obtain property in exchange for the check, which the check can't pay for. Counterfeit money is an attempt to use phony currency to pay for real goods. When the phony currency is discovered, and the money is found to be worthless, someone's going to be poorer as a result. So the whole point is to get what rightfully belongs to them, which amounts to the same thing as taking their goods. Forged invoices involve an attempt to convince someone you've purchased something that you really haven't, thus obtaining the thing without giving the rightful owner anything of value in return. And finally, when someone lies on a tax form, they're trying to convince the government that they don't owe as much money as they really do. Putting aside the issue of what kinds of taxes should exist and what kinds shouldn't, a political issue which doesn't affect our moral obligations at all, all of these acts of fraud involve cheating people out of things that belong to them. Therefore, all of them are usurping another's goods, and are therefore stealing, if they fulfill the other criteria for an action being stealing. Next time, what about the money that employers owe to their workers? Is there anything in the Seventh Commandment about that? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.